Hey SPX kids, did you know that some of Jesus' followers thought that God loved some people more than others? They thought that some people were important and that some people were not important. So they asked Jesus a question. Teacher, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Jesus asked a little child to come stand by him. Jesus then said that everyone is important to God. He told his followers that even the little child is important to God. They all thought that was totally weird because back then children didn't do much. Jesus wanted his followers to understand better, so he decided to tell them a story to help them understand. Now, we've talked about this kind of story before. Yep, you're right. It was a parable. So this is the parable of the lost sheep. Once a shepherd had a flock of 100 sheep. The shepherd loved each one of his sheep. He gave them each a name. Every night he would count his sheep to make sure that all 100 were there. He helped the sheep find the best grass. He looked for nice clean water so his sheep could have a great drink when they were thirsty. Sometimes dangerous animals like bears and lions would come and try to hurt his sheep. And the shepherd protected them and chased all of the dangerous animals away from them. And sometimes the sheep would wander away from the rest of the sheep and the shepherd had to call that sheep's name. And when the sheep heard the shepherd's voice, they would run back to the shepherd. But what would it mean if the shepherd counted his sheep and there was only 99? Right, that would mean one sheep was missing. How do you think the shepherd felt? What do you think the shepherd would do? Do you think he was like, ah, who cares? I'm just happy that these 99 sheep are here. I won't worry about that one little sheep. One little sheep isn't important anyway. What would you do if you were the shepherd? Here's what the shepherd would do. He would leave the 99 sheep in a safe place, and then he would go and look for the lost sheep. He would look behind bushes. He would look in deep valleys. He would keep looking everywhere until he found the sheep. And when he finally found the sheep, he would be so happy. He would lift the sheep up onto his shoulders and he would carry him back to the other 99. At last, the shepherd could be happy because then all of the sheep were safe and all of the sheep were well. Now, after Jesus told this parable, he explained what it meant. God does not look at one person and say, this person is important. She's the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And he doesn't look at another person and say, this person is not important. He is the least in the kingdom of heaven. Jesus didn't tell this parable because the other 99 sheep didn't matter. That wasn't what he was saying. But... He did tell this parable because the one was lost. The one was in danger. Right then, what mattered was the one that needed the shepherd. Every single person, even the littlest child, is important to God. He does not want any person to be lost. Not one. He does not want one single person to be in danger. This is the kind of love that God has for all of us. He knows us each by name. Now, today's gospel reminds us of this. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. This parable tells us why God sent his son, why he sent Jesus. He sent him to find us because of how much he loves us. Did you know that you were that important to God? because you are. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. This week, be kind and love. Bye SPX kids.